A year ago, we took a look at the Prusa Mark IV. Today, we're looking at the Prusa Mark IV S, which is a big upgrade and for the same price. Or if you already have a Mark IV, only a $100 upgrade kit. So we're gonna take a closer look at some of the upgrades that they've put into it. We, coming bears as always, we use the Prusas around the office quite a bit. They're one of the workhorses we have around here. And, uh, I'm looking forward to adding these ones to our arsenal and upgrading the ones we have to this. Whoop. There's always another USB stick. Anything else hiding? Yes, many things hiding. More boxes. In this box, we have the accessory kit, which has a bunch of tools, a filament guide, spool holder, and some lube, and a couple of other odds and ends, and a spool of filament. Galaxy Black, always pretty. Most of the parts of this are similar to the Mark IV, but there are two big improvements. One is the part cooling shroud and fan system, which is gonna allow for faster printing and way better overhangs. And something we can't see right now is a new hot end to allow for way higher flow rates. Some of the other quality of life upgrades are the screen cover, which is now injection molded, and some of the more mechanically robust parts are printed out of a polycarbonate carbon fiber infused filament. The unit we got was fully assembled, so just take it out of the box, put it down, plug it in and go. They say it would take you about 10 minutes to get from out of box to your first print. Let's flick it on. One of the other things they've released is a mobile app and an update to their desktop app. This allows you to browse through your printers, start and stop prints, and you can set up print notifications for either failures or successes and other general printer status information. Setup, pretty straightforward. You just tap the NFC with your app going and scan a QR code to get it set up. As with all Prusa printers, you don't need to have it set up to the Wi-Fi and you can print completely offline if you want to. Let's finish up the self-tests and calibrations. It's gonna go through and just make sure that all of the systems are behaving the way it expects to make sure that it arrived in fully functioning order. Hi there. Ooh, nice and quiet. One of the things I appreciate with the Prusa systems is they go through the self-testing calibration right at the start. And then after that, you pretty much never have to recalibrate them. Unlike some of the other systems which run it before every single print, which can take a lot of extra time when you're running a lot of prints. It's all the main axes done and heat testing. This might take a minute. Now's probably a good time to cut. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Since we didn't build this printer ourselves, we don't have to deal with the gearbox test, but from what I've seen, it's pretty straightforward. All right, now we're gonna take out the filament and make sure the filament sensor's working correctly. Insert the filament, make sure, boop. Doing more calibrating and remove. Sweet. Happy printing. Now that the printer's all set up and ready to go, let's give you a word from our sponsor. Delete me. Protecting yours and your family's online privacy is a team effort. And with Delete Me's new family plans, everyone in your household is covered. Each family member receives personalized data cleanup services to keep their private information secure. And from kids to adults, they ensure everyone is protected from online threats and scams. So don't wait, give your family the peace of mind they need by heading to the link in the video description to learn more. While this is heating up, one of the other changes they made was to put some more bearing style engineering materials on the inside of the gearbox housing, just to give smoother running in the long term. Generally speaking, Prusa doesn't push print it as fast as you possibly can, but one of the things they did include on this is an eight minute benchy, which I'm very curious to see how that runs. That was really fast. And it looks really good, especially given how quickly it printed. Obviously not a regulation Benchy. It's a little hollow, but still, for how quickly that printed, this looks spectacular. One of the big things that they're claiming is to be able to handle 75 degree overhangs without any support cleanly. I've done a couple of test prints on some of the other printers we have in-house. We'll start a print here and see how it turns out. Overall, I'm really excited for the upgrades that this brings and i'm probably going to reach out to them today to get a bunch of kits to upgrade all of our printers internally because the speed improvement and the quality improvement looks substantial 
And all of these upgrades coming at the same price point as the original printer at $800 for the build your own kit and $1,100 for the pre-built, it's pretty compelling. If you wanna see us talk about other printers in the future, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>